everyone, I have got this question over here from Pathfinder for Physics Olympiad. You can pause the video and read the question yourself. I'll just explain you the summary right now. So, we have got a box over here. Inside the box, there are several plates. But initially, there are 20 plates. I'll write over here, there are n equal to 20 identical plates. And all of them are square plates. Okay. Now, below the plates, there is a spring. The natural length of the spring is equal to the length of the box. This is the natural length of the spring. Now, there are two cases over here. In the first case, the slit, the opening of the box is at the top and you are pulling the plates one by one. As you pull the plate, spring will go up slightly. Again, you pull the second plate, spring will go up again slightly. Okay, and so on until you pull out all the plates. That is your case one. Case two is when the slit is at the bottom of the box. Okay. Everything is identical. Only thing is that we have flipped the box. So in this case, again, you are pulling the plates one by one and the spring will slowly unload. Now they are saying that there is friction on each and every surface and the coefficient of friction is given to be mu equal to 0.5. Then if as you try to pull the plates out, you have to do work against the friction. So in the case one, let the total work done be W1. And in the second case, let the total work done be W2. Then the question says that the difference in the work done in the two cases, the difference is equal to 10 joules. So they are asking the mass of each of the plates. Regarding the plates, they only provided the length of the plate and since it's a square plate, uh, all the sides are equal, but the thickness of the plate is not given in the question. So how to approach this problem? Let the thickness of the plate be equal to x. And if there are n number of plates inside the box, then the total thickness will be how much? n multiplied by x and therefore the compression in the spring. Compression in the spring will be equal to nx. Now in both the cases, there will be a normal force at the top of the plate and the bottom of the plate. Let the normal forces be n1 and n2. Okay, so because of these normal forces, we will be experiencing friction. So as you try to pull the plate in this direction, friction will be acting, let's say along this direction, F1 and F2. So F1 will be equal to mu N1 and F2 will be equal to mu N2. So we have to find this friction in all the cases and find the work done due to them. Now, what will be the work done for each plate? See, the length of the plate is equal to how much? That is equal to L. Correct. So, work done. Work done by each frictional force will be F multiplied by L. So, when you are pulling the top plate, let's say, friction F1 will do how much work? F1 into L. Friction F2 will do how much work? F2 into L. So, e on each plate, friction on the top and the bottom, both are doing work simultaneously. So, let's now take the case 1. That is, when the spring is at the bottom and we are removing the plates from the top. Okay, so at the bottom of the plates, there will be a spring force. How much spring force will be there? Initially, there are 20 plates, right? So the spring force will be 20 kx. Now see, over here, spring is applying force from the bottom. So there will also be a force, normal force from the top. Okay, so this normal force will be how much? So let's say the normal force from the top is n1. Okay, but on the top plate, there will be a normal force on this surface as well. Let this normal force be N2. Now, what will be the value of N1 and N2? So, if you observe, on this system, there are total 20 blocks, right? So, the gravitational force acting downwards will be 20 mg. Now, total downward force is how much? N1 plus 20 mg and upward force is 20 kx. So, N1 plus 20 mg is equal to 20 kx. So, therefore, N1 equal to 20 kx minus 20 mg. What about N2? So, on your plate, N1 is downwards, N2 is upwards, mg is downwards. So, again, from here you get N1 plus mg is equal to N2. So, N2 is what basically some of these two forces. So, N2 will come out to be equal to 20 kx minus 19 mg. So, I'll write down over here, n1 is equal to 20 kx minus 20 mg and n2 is equal to 20 kx minus 19 mg. Now, after removing one plate, 
Now we have got 19 plates over here. So total gravitational force will be 19 mg downwards and the spring force upward will be 19 kx because the compression of the spring has now reduced. Again at the top we have got normal force N3 and on this top plate on its bottom surface there will be a normal force N4. So what will be the values of N3 and N4? So first of all for this whole system N3 plus 19 mg. N3 plus 19 mg is equal to upward force 19 kx. So N3 will be how much? 19 kx minus 19 mg. And similarly when you calculate N4. So again on your plate N3 is downwards. N4 is upwards. mg is downwards. So again you will get N4 equal to N3 plus mg. So that will come out to be equal to 19 kx minus 18 mg. So let's write down the values over here. N3 equal to 19 kx minus 19 mg and N4 is equal to 19 kx minus 18 mg. Similarly, if you follow the trend, now when there are 18 plates over here, so here we get N5 equal to 18 kx minus 18 mg and N6 equal to 18 kx minus 17 mg and you continue the trend until you are left with two plate and one plate so in case of two plates in case of two plates we will be having 2 kx minus 2 mg normal force from the top and 2 kx minus mg normal force from the bottom and when there is only one plate left over here so here we get kx minus mg on the top and kx on the bottom now when you're calculating the total work done in case one so work done w1 will be what due to the normal force n1 we have got friction mu n1 and for the displacement of the plate that is equal to the length of the plate okay we multiply l okay so force multiplied by displacement plus due to n2 we have work done mu n2 l due to n3 we have work done mu n3 l plus so on we have to continue the series until the last plate so when you take mu l common you get n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 and so on so let's try to find a pattern over here okay so w1 is equal to mu l times n1 is what 20 kx minus mu 20 mg 20 kx minus 20 mg plus n2 is what 20 kx minus 19 mg 20 kx minus 19 mg plus then n3 is what 19 kx minus 19 mg n4 is what 19 kx minus 18 mg and we continue the series on both the sides then when there are two plates so we are left with over here plus 2 kx minus 2 mg plus 2 kx minus mg and then finally plus kx minus mg plus kx minus can we write zero over here okay because in the last case we only have force kx so i'm writing zero okay kx will be equal to kx minus zero so we just now add them so if you look over here can you see a pattern 20 plus 19 plus 18 plus 17 and so on plus 2 plus 1 so we have got an arithmetic progression over here so we apply the formula for arithmetic progression so we get mu l common for this series i'll be getting 20 by 2 into 20 plus 1 first term plus last term so first term 20 last term 1 into number of terms by 2 that is the formula for sum of ap correct multiplied by kx minus if you look over here again we got the same series so i can write down over here 20 20 plus 1 by 2 into mg plus again we got the same series that we had over here okay so i'll again write down 20 20 plus 1 by 2 kx and finally minus for this series again there are 20 terms okay here we got a zero so if you count all these terms we have got 20 terms but the first term is 19 last term is zero so i'll again write down over here 20 by 2 into 19 plus 1 times mg okay so from here you get w1 equal to mu l 420 kx minus 400 mg now let's look at the case two in case two spring is at the top okay and you're pulling the plates from the bottom so 
So initially when there are 20 plates, so from the top spring force will be how much? 20 kx because the total spring compression is equal to the total length that is 20x. Right. And on the bottom we have got normal force N1 and the total downward gravitational force will be 20 mg. So 20 kx plus 20 mg that is equal to N1. We found N1 over here. But as you are trying to pull this plate, we have to find the friction on this surface as well. For that we need the normal force over here N2. So N2 will be how much? So for this bottom most plate, if you again draw the FBD, N2 downwards, N1 upwards and then we have got Mg. So N2 is what? N1 minus Mg over here. So that is equal to 20 kx plus 19 mg so let's write that down over here n1 is 20 kx plus 20 mg n2 is 20 kx minus 19 mg similarly when there are 19 plates over here gravitational force will be 19 mg spring force will be 19 kx and over here normal force n3 will be how much so n3 will be 19 kx plus 19 mg and for the bottom most plate we have to find the normal force on this surface as well n4 so again we can find out n4 so downwards n4 upwards n3 again downwards mg so n4 will be equal to n3 minus mg so that is 19 kx plus 18 mg so let's write down over here n4 is 19 kx plus 18 mg n3 is 19 kx plus 19 mg similarly if you follow the trend now we have got 18 kx over here so we will be getting normal force over here 18 kx plus 18 mg and the normal force on this surface will be 18 kx plus 17 mg then when there are only two plates left over here we will be getting 2 kx plus 2 mg and on this surface 2kx plus mg and finally when there is only one plate left with us so we will be getting over here kx plus mg on the bottom and only kx on the top again we have to find the total work done w2 in that case so that will be equal to mu times l times n1 plus n2 and so on we have to add all the forces so again let's try to create the series over here so w2 will be equal to mu l okay let's write down this one 20 kx plus 20 mg plus this force will be how much 20 kx plus 19 mg then we take this force so 19 kx plus 19 mg plus we will take this force so 19 kx plus 18 mg and we keep on continuing the series we get finally plus 2kx plus 2mg plus 2kx plus mg and finally kx plus mg and plus kx can we write plus 0 only right we have got only kx force over here so we'll instead write down kx plus 0 again as you can see we have got the same arithmetic progression in all the four cases right so i'll write down the sum over here so i get w2 equal to mu l for this i will be getting 20 into 21 by 2 so that will be equal to 210 kx plus this sum will be 21 into 20 by 2 so that will be again 210 mg then plus again this series will give me 210 kx plus over here we have got a series starting from 19 and ending at 0 so we will be getting 190 mg so I get w2 equal to mu l 420 kx plus 400 mg now the question is telling us that the difference of work done in the two cases is 10 joules so let's subtract them so delta w equal to w2 minus w1 so w2 will be what 420 kx mu l plus 400 mg mu l minus w1 is how much 420 kx mu l minus 400 mg mu l so when you subtract them these two will cancel out but minus into minus is plus so these two will actually add up so we get 800 mg mu l that is your delta w so m will be delta w by 800 
G mu L. Put the values. So delta W is 10 joules divided by 800. Let's take G equal to approximately 10. Okay, round of figure. Mu is given to be 0.5 and length is given 5 centimeter. So in SI units, you get 0 0.05 meter. When you solve this, you will get this to be equal to 0 0.05 kilograms or 50 grams. But you have a very important announcement. We have a doubt support program. This program is a program that you can do self study online videos. But when you have a doubt, then you have a doubt clear. So, 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 you have a program that you can join. And you have unlimited doubts. So, you have a doubt that you have a offline classes. You have a doubt that 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 you have a तो वो बच्चे भी हमारे पास ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं मैं आपको इसके हाइलाइट्स बता दूं क्या है एवरी वीक 3 टू 4 लाइव लेक्चर्स होंगे जिसमें आप मुझे लाइव डाउट्स पूछ सकते हो डाउट पूछने की कोई लिमिट नहीं है जितने भी डाउट्स हैं आप पूछ सकते हो मैं उन सबको क्लियर करूंगा इसके अलावा टेलीग्राम या व्हाट्सएप पे भी आप मुझे डाउट्स सेंड कर सकते हो मैं जैसे ही टाइम मिलेगा उन क्वेश्चंस का उन डाउट्स का मैं व्हाट्सएप पे भी रिप्लाई करूंगा और अगर पॉसिबल हुआ तो मैं उनका वीडियो सॉल्यूशन भी आपके लिए अपलोड कर दिया करूंगा और ऐसा नहीं है कि हम सिर्फ व्हाट्सएप रिप्लाई करें तो कहानी कहां पे खत्म हो जाती है आपको अगर फिर भी डाउट क्लियर नहीं होता और हमको लगा कि भाई हां ये डाउट को कुछ और तरीके से समझाना पड़ेगा तो हम अगेन एक्स्ट्रा लाइव लेक्चर्स और लगा सकते हैं जहां पे आपके वो डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चंस डिस्कस होंगे और ये पूरा प्रोग्राम आपके सारे सब्जेक्ट्स के लिए फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स और इवन बायो के लिए भी है यानी कि जो नीट के बच्चे हैं वो भी इसको ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं इसकी फीस बहुत सिंपल है आपको हर एक सब्जेक्ट के लिए सिर्फ 1000 रुपीस पर मंथ पे करना होगा फॉर ईच सब्जेक्ट और ये जो मैं आपको प्रोग्राम बता रहा हूं ये हर एक सब्जेक्ट का इंडिविजुअल प्रोग्राम है आपको जरूरी नहीं कि आपको सारे सब्जेक्ट ज्वाइन करने हैं आप चाहो तो एक सिंगल सब्जेक्ट ज्वाइन कर सकते हो चाहो तो सारे सब्जेक्ट्स के लिए डाउट सपोर्ट ले सकते हो और जो बच्चे जे 2024 की तैयारी कर रहे हैं नीट 2024 की तैयारी कर रहे हैं अगर वो भी इस प्रोग्राम को ज्वाइन करना चाहते हैं और अगर वो लमसम में पेमेंट करते हैं मतलब पूरे 2 साल का डाउट पैकेज एक साथ लेते हैं तो उनके लिए स्पेशल डिस्काउंट्स भी अवेलेबल हैं ज्यादा डिटेल्स के लिए आप कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं WhatsApp लिंक मेरे डिस्क्रिप्शन में गिवन है वहां पे आप क्लिक करिए और मुझे WhatsApp करिए मैं आपको रिप्लाई करूंगा